All right. Hello, and thank you for joining us today for this discussion with Vicky Pierre. Uh, for those of you not currently present in the gallery, we are having the opening reception for the exhibition Daily News is today. Uh, and for those of you that are here, thank you for coming. Uh, beautiful day, and uh, there's a lot of stuff going on, so we appreciate you being here today. Um, this exhibition was co-curated by Vicky Pierre, and in addition to her work, uh, the show also includes artwork by Julie Davidow, Lori Nozick, Michelle Lisa Polisant, Lauren Santisteban, Sarah Stites, and Michelle Weinberg. And uh, I'd like to start this talk uh, by first saying thank you to Vicky uh, for pulling together such a great group of artists. Uh, this exhibition was a delight to put together and to install, and uh, it's been great to get to know, know each of these artists. Um, so I'm just going to start, um, before I have Vicki introduce herself a little bit, I'm um, just going to say a few things about Vicki. Um, so Vicki Pierre uh, was born in Brooklyn, New York. She lives and works in Vero Beach, Florida. Uh, we met, Vic met Vicki at Main Street Arts in 2019 when she was here for a residency uh, in November of that year. And uh, she was the recipient of the 2017 South Florida Cultural Consortium Award. Uh, in 2019, she was selected as one of 10 artists in the sixth annual Orlando Museum of Art Florida Prize. Her artwork has been displayed in exhibitions internationally, including uh, Perez Art Museum in Miami, National Museum of Women in the Arts in Washington, DC, and Museum of Contemporary Art in Puerto Rico, among others. Uh, her work can be found in private and public collections. And this October, Vicki will uh, display new works in her solo exhibition at Frederick Snitzer Gallery in Miami. Um, so a good opportunity uh, for you to add her work to your own collection. So, um, uh, so Vicki, would you like to tell us a little bit more about yourself, perhaps touching on your time here as a resident as well? Um, well, um, let's see. Um, I'm Haitian American. And uh, so my work uh, has some elements of that, uh, of my culture. Um, I'm also very much interested in global cultural mythologies, like deities, goddesses, gods um, from different cultures. Um, and so I incorporate that into my work as well. And um, as you said, I was a resident at uh, Main Street Arts uh, a couple of years ago, and that was an incredible experience. I enjoyed it a lot. Um, there's something to be said for the isolation and the quiet. <laughs> and so, of course, as soon as I got back to Miami, I thought, how can I get that every day? <laughs> and now I live in Vero Beach. Um, uh, so, yeah, yeah. It's a good start. Okay, great. And um, have you, so you were the co-curator of this exhibition. We, yeah. uh, you know, since March of 2020, the residency program at Main Street Arts has, has not been operational. And we kind of put that on the back burner here as we kind of focus on other, other, other programs. Um, and so in an effort to, you know, kind of recall what the program was like and uh, highlight some of the artists from the program, uh, we decided that we really wanted to um, ask if you would be interested in working with us. And the way that this exhibition came together um, was we, you know, we thought it'd be great to have you kind of co-curate the show and give you full control of, of um, the artists, you know, that we would invite to be in the exhibition. Uh, so I guess before we talk specifically about, you know, kind of what brought you to selecting these artists, et cetera, um, have you had a lot of experience doing any cur curatorial work uh, in the past, or do you have a background in that at all? I have. I've curated a couple of shows um, in the past. Um, once was uh, at uh, Ambrosino Gallery, which was my uh, gallery rep at the time. That was about 2003 or 2002. Um, and that was a group of artists from Miami and New York. Um, because at that point, I'd, I'd been in Miami since about uh, 99, 98. And um, so I thought it would be great to do something where, you know, I incorporated the two halves of my life at that time. Um, another time was at uh, Dorsch Gallery, which is now uh, Emerson Dorsch in Miami. And uh, that was an exhibition of, again, artists from Miami and New York. Um, and what was really special about that exhibition was that 
along with the individual works that the artists did, we also collectively decided to do an exquisite corpse. And so that was a lot of fun. Um, and all of the artists in the exhibition um, were very much interested in surrealism and fantasy. And so our works worked well together. And then it ended with this, uh, this great individual piece. I can't remember who has it though, but uh, <laughs> I don't. <laughs> So we'll have to see. Uh, Chris Gura, if you're out there, Christian Duran, who has that piece? <laughs> um, but yeah, so I've curated a few shows before, um, but this one was very special, I thought, because um, uh, it incorporated, it included um, uh, women artists who I love and respect. Some of them I've known for over 20 years, um, great friends of mine. Some of them are newer friends, but uh, whose work I admire and love. Um, I love them very much. Um, and uh, I just thought it was a great opportunity to um, just do something together. Um, even though I'm not uh, you know, near them, uh, they're in Miami, I'm in Vero Beach, but um, I thought it would, some, would be something that could really be fun and interesting. Um, uh, as a project for Main Street Arts. And, um, you know, what kind of went through your mind while you were figuring out who would be in the show? Like, was there any certain criteria that you were thinking about? Like, um, any commonalities that you saw in, in some of the artists and then you thought, well, like, who do I know that we could include in the show with them? Anything you know, like that? Yes, yes, absolutely. Um, so, you know, you and I discussed having the show and um, initially it was to be a show that would just be my work. And, um, you know, again, I just thought it would be a great, uh, you know, community project um, of having these women um, exhibit together. Um, and I think that's always kind of important for me. It is to, to just, uh, you know, reach back to, um, to other artists that have certainly held me up when I was feeling kind of not so seen. And so I absolutely wanted them to be included. Um, and so, you know, when you and I were discussing it, um, we talked about collaging. And so of course, you know, my work incorporates a lot of collaging, um, if not mainly. And so um, I sought out artists who, use collaging in their work in some form or other. And, um, and then from there, we moved into the, the concept of muses, right? Um, but I, I thought collaging was really a good starting point. And all of these artists um, do some sort of collaging in their work. So um, there's fabric, there's paper, there's canvas, um, and um, photography painting and uh, they all kind of use the, the, they all kind of collage and use that technique in different ways, whether it's digitally or, you know, physically um, with cut paper. So I thought uh, that could make a very interesting um, exhibition. Yeah, I think it was really interesting, you know, in my mind, I thought, you know, when we were initially talking and we said collage was going to be kind of a focus. And in my mind, I thought of, a certain kind of exhibition. And then this ended up being maybe not the complete opposite of that, but very different from that, you know, because I think when you think of collage, you think of one kind of collage. Um, and, you know, it's really interesting to see how, you know, some of these artists incorporate it in a very minimal way, or they do collage as um, another part of their work, but this work here isn't specifically using collage at all. So it's just interesting yeah. to see the way that the show kind of, um, you know, it kind of ebbed and flowed and, and found its natural way. Um, and yes. going back to the idea of the muse, um, that was something that came from, from your artist statement. So in thinking about how do we come up with the name for the show and kind of figure out the scope of the show, um, what I did is I, I had your artist statement as my starting point, because like you said, we wanted to have you uh, have a solo show first. So we, we knew we wanted to include your work specifically and highlight that. Uh, and then how else would we kind of form this show? So I went through and I started highlighting keywords and then I, you know, had the word daily and muse, um, you know, kind of bolded. And I thought that, that was really interesting. Um, and, um, you know, I think in your, in your statement, you were talking about, um, 
you know, like using your materials for collage, you know, things from magazines and whatever you might see is, you know, amused on a daily basis and you're not sure where it might come from. Um, so that ended up being um, kind of the, the, the driving idea for the show is kind of the idea of inspiration and the muse and um, a lot of unexpected ways where inspiration, you know, you're, you're not quite sure where inspiration comes from some of the time. So yeah. And sometimes it's from uh, other artists. That's a really a big one. Um, and I think that this exhibition kind of shows that all of the works sort of speak to each other and um, there is a great dynamic that's happening. Um, it's very organic. It's very, um, uh, I don't want to say um, sensual, um, but it just feels very feminine to me. And I really love that. Um, even, you know, Julie's work, you know, there's this architecture, but uh, the subtlety of uh, the use of color and um, just sort of the angles, it just feels so, I don't know, dynamic and yummy, and I love it. Yeah, and there's an interesting, you know, the work relates to one another from different artists, but it's interesting too, um, the thing that I really found interesting about a few of the artists was the work that they make references other work that they make, which is also included in the show. Sure, so Sarah about, does that, and even uh, Michelle. Yeah, yeah. So, so thinking about Sarah's work, we have these really big uh, paintings on uh, like a Yupo paper, and then they're used as a backdrop in a photograph, um, which I think is typically more of her finished work, right? I mean, that's what she kind of does more is that photography. Um, well, she's a mad scientist. I yeah. mean, she really mixes mediums. Um, and the thing that she also does is she, she really photographs it like along the way. Um, you know, uh, so you get, uh, sometimes you might really enjoy a certain aspect and then she'll just paint over it and then something new will come up that's even more amazing. Um, and then adding, you know, glass or, you know, other objects um, in front of the work and then photographing it and then using that as kind of a stand-in next to the piece kind of, it's, it's a very interesting way to look at work and, um, uh, yeah. 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 There's a few artists that really do th interesting things like that in the show. And I think that that makes it, um, I, don't know, I, I mean, I think personally, I think, you know, it makes it interesting to look at because it makes you question, well, what am I looking at right now? You know, why would that look very similar to what I'm seeing right here? So, you know, for sure. me as a curator, that's what I really enjoy doing is making people kind of stop and wonder like, well, why, you know, why would they hang that in that way? What, you know, what am I, what am I supposed to be getting from this? So, sure, and it and it's also about uh, you know putting the viewer in a place spatially, you know, a mental space, but then also a physical space when they're interacting with the work. And I think that a lot of these artists kind of create that dynamic. They, you know, with Michelle, with with Michelle Lisa, also, um, it kind of messes with you a little bit. I think. Yeah. Um, and I want to take this opportunity to, to tell people, anyone, you know, in the in-person audience or uh, on Facebook, if you have any questions or you want to see anything, please do in the comments and we'll, we'll be sure to ask them. Uh, so far, Lori Nozick says hello. Uh, she said, hi, Vicki and Bradley, looking good. So I think she directed that more at you, but um, uh, so, and <clears throat> thinking about, um, you know, this, about this show, you know, all of, all of you are from, outside of the area. Um, typically, I love to do studio visits with artists. Uh, I like to kind of get to know each of the artists that we show in some, some manner of an, or another. Um, and this, or this exhibition, I didn't really have that opportunity just because you're so, you know, you're kind of, you're in, you're in Florida, you're in Maine, um, you know, Los Angeles. Um, so I didn't have that opportunity. And the great thing, um, you know, is kind of a, byproduct of what we went through in 2020 is like what we're doing right now, this, you know, kind of hybrid event, I was able to go and have these virtual studio visits, which before this point in time, I hadn't really ever done. Um, but it was a really great opportunity to kind of feel like I was going to visit their studio and have that face to face conversation, um, which is one of the, the, you know, highlights of, of my role is getting to know the artists and 
then that kind of has something to do with the way that the work is installed and the way that you know the show kind of comes together. So sure, sure. that everyone was um, you know willing to to do that. I know it can be weird to just have someone that they don't know pop up on the screen and have to talk in their studio, but um, but it was it was great to get to know everyone and um, you know visit them in that way. It gave me a sense that I kind of you know knew a little bit about each of them. So but definitely. Yeah. And I think it says something also about, you know, the Miami artists, you know, we're, we're all very collaborative, um, easy, um, and, uh, you know, what I think is kind of funny also, when you were talking about that we're all over the, all over the place, you know, we used to all kind of be in Miami, and uh, over the years, one person leaves, another person leaves, another person leaves. And I hadn't thought of that before until you just said that, that we're all kind of all over the place. Lori's in LA, Michelle's now upstate, um, Sarah's in Maine, Julie's in Davie, uh, I'm in Vera Beach, you know. Um, you know, it, it, for me, it feels almost uh, uh, a little sad, a little nostalgic because, uh, you know, we're all grown up. <laughs> well, and, um, you know, I know several of the artists have New York connections, and then you were in New York. Is that where you got to know at least some of them? Was when you're still in New no, York? no, none of them. Um, I I met them all in Miami. You know, um, uh, I mean, Lauren. I Lauren and I used to work together at the Miami Art Museum. Um, Julie and Sarah. Uh, we all had studios at the Art Center in South Florida, and we met there. Um, I mean, Michelle, I've known Michelle forever as well. Um, and Michelle was doing like public works and um, and I met Michelle Lisa. She put me in an exhibition that she did um, not that long ago. So it's just kind of interesting. Um, and also Lori, you know, the other thing about it also is because Miami's kind of a small community. I mean, it's, it's getting bigger now, but um, in terms of, you know, population and the art scene, but, you know, even, uh, Lori, um, I, I, you know, met her through the scene, but then uh, we all had studios at the Art Center. I'm sorry, at uh, Fountainhead. So myself, Julie, Lori, Michelle has a studio now at Fountainhead. You know, we're all, you know, there are only so many places where people can, um, you know, find community and studios you know, and so they tend to overlap and, um, you know, which is a good thing, uh, but, you know, without getting into a whole other conversation about change, yeah. um, you know, it's, it's a good thing. And, and that's how we all met and uh, that keeps community together also. Yeah, and it also brings up the fact that you never know where, you know, uh, a friendship that develops, you know, in the art community, you never know where yeah. that, you know, you, you're friends with someone, and you share a studio space or you have a studio next door and then all of a sudden, hey, do you want to be in a show in upstate New York with me? Yeah. yeah. And not just that, but, um, you know, we're talking about muses, you know, and, and inspiration. You know, you're, you're getting feedback on what you're working on. You're getting inspired by what they're doing. There may be something within that body of work that sparks something in your own practice and vice versa. Um, and then it can become a very cyclical Kind of experience and so i mean i've been in shows with julie like so many times <laughs> um and and sarah michelle you know um and there's something to be said for that you know it's it's there's a lot of care in there you know? well on that note uh Lori says again um in a comment we will always be connected and all have new york and miami inspiration yay <laughs> Uh, um, and uh, well, I just want to say that um, this exhibition, really beautiful work. Uh, I feel like there's a great conversation happening, and I hope that anyone that's you know within the region here can come and see this in person. Um, but for anyone who's outside of the area, which I think there probably are a lot of people that would watch this that are from out of the area, since a lot of you are, or all of you are from out of the area. Um, so I'm going to be doing a virtual walkthrough uh, coming up here on Facebook Live, uh, and then also on um, October 11th, we're going to have a discussion with all the artists uh, on Facebook Live again. So um, 
definitely uh, watch for information on that and, and tune in and hear all the other artists um, talk about their work. And that'll be a good opportunity for all of you to, to feel like you're getting together and, you know, talking and uh, having a good time. So, um, well, I think, um, I think we've, we've covered uh, a, a bit here and I think, um, you know, that, that's it. So, <laughs> um, so unless there's any last, uh, last thoughts, Vicki? Uh, um, well, I'm definitely looking forward to um, the artist talk when we're all collectively speaking together. Um, I can see all your beautiful faces. Um, I think it's really important for the ladies to um, kind of flesh out more about their works. And um, I'd love for the public to hear from them and also get to see the works up close. Um, they're really gorgeous pieces, and some of them are gorgeous in their subtlety, and some of them are gorgeous in their uh, more eccentric uh, accoutrement, as I like to say a lot. <laughs> so yeah, it, it runs the gamut. So I think it'll be a really great exhibition for people to see, um, even if it's online. Yeah, and, and during the walkthrough, uh, I'll be going through the exhibition and, and focusing on each artist's work and kind of talking a little bit about them. And then yeah. when we talk as well, we'll have images that we'll share. So people, uh, whether they're here or not, will be able to get a good sense of the show, so. Yeah, and, and we're all doing really great things. Um, and I think that's, uh, you know, a testament to, uh, another testament to a community that, you know, you keep people motivated, you keep people inspired, and, um, and then there may be lags, uh, lapses of time uh, in between uh, projects, but you know, we keep coming back to it. So I think that's really important also. And I think um, I'm really looking forward to hearing on the 11th how all of the work you finished, how that all went and the installation at uh, your solo show. Because <laughs> that'll be opening the, the, that week, so. Everyone will be looking for you. <laughs> no, it's coming along well. It's 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 coming along. Um, you know, it's it's always so interesting um, when I work. Uh, you know, I, I get myself kind of frothed up. You know, all the nerves, and then I just, you know, work. So it's been working for me so far. <laughs> well, appreciate you taking the time out of the studio day to uh, to talk with us here. And yeah. um, we thank you. And again, thank uh, you. Out there uh, that wants to come in and see the show, we have open Tuesday and Wednesday from 11 a.m. to 3 p.m. and Thursday through Saturday from 11 a.m. to 6 p.m. And uh, you can find out more information about this exhibition. You can preview and purchase uh, artwork from the show uh, on our website, mainstreetartcs.org. And um, and we hope to see you. Uh, so thanks again. Thank you, Vicky. Thank you, Bradley. Thank you, ladies. <laughs>